All right, guys, so the last time I fished right here, because this lake is it's really good if you can get to where you can cast vertically along the pad. So if I stand over here like this, and then I cast like, you know, right along the edge of the pads, it's pretty good. And the last time I did that, uh, I did it with a 68 Huddleston, and I actually lost one. Was going, felt them smash it, swung, got him up to the bank, and then he jumped and threw it. And it was about a three pounder. And I haven't really fished over here since. Um, and that was during the summer. That was more. That was like middle of the summer, so. I kind of got to find what the fish are doing right now, but. But there is a lot of bait fish up shallow. I haven't seen really too many bass up shallow, except for that one the other day, but there's been a lot of bait, you know, bluegill and baby bass, you know, up shallow, feeding on bugs and stuff. So they know that fall is coming. So, I mean, the bass should know. I always like to do a couple casts where I don't really let it sink and I kind of just, you know, reel in it through the water column. And then I always like to take a cast where I let it sink down and creep it on the bottom because you never know where the fish could be at. You know, there could be a fish there, but he's down, you know, quote, on the bottom in the lily pad roots, so he could be suspended. So now I'm just going to roll this on the bottom pretty slow. And there's something there. I got something. And it just came off. Um, well, I may have just lost a swim bait fish. That was so weird. Look at my tail. My tail's chewed up. That, that was so weird. I've never caught anything over about three pounds on a swim bait. So I have no idea at all how it's gonna feel, but whatever it was, it was coming in. As you can see, I was reeling it and it was definitely pulling. But it wasn't like really, I, you know, I couldn't really feel good head shakes. And whatever it is was gone. That really felt like a fish. And it was a good fish, if it was. I don't know what else that would have been, unless it was another cone, but... Dang. 